when Kirk was writing his book, I Am Spartacus, making a film, breaking the blacklist, at one point he handed me the galley and he asked me to read it. And a few days later I got back to him and told him how much I loved it. And then he said to me, you know, son, it really mean a lot to me if, if you'd write the, the foreword to the book, which is something I'd done in one of his earlier books. And it was such a, a touching request, and I was so incredibly honored. And I said, Dad, this is going to be my pleasure. Next day, I get an email from Dad, don't worry, I got George Clooney to do it. <laughs> True. Well, George did a very good job, but he replaced me with a younger actor. So. Tonight, all of us are here to celebrate the 95th anniversary of the MPTF. And I'm here with an additional mission, one that is a joy for me to share with you, to talk about and pay tribute to another enduring show business institution that's even older than the MPTF, my dad. My dad turns 100 years old in a few weeks. Right. <laughs> I mean, think about it. He turns 100 years old. It's an amazing personal century filled with so many accomplishments and achievements that if I recounted them all, we'd still be here for Kirk's 105th birthday. My dad is an icon. He's a legend. He's a true movie star from an era when movie stars were looked upon as our version of royalty. And Kirk earned that status. Three Oscar nominations, two Golden Globes, over 90 films that spanned, spanned seven decades and not one sequel. <laughs> I mean, that's astounding, right? To all of us that are here today, no Spartacus II, no Eight Days in May, no Gunfight 2, Back to the Corral. <laughs> every role different, every performance unique. Each character he brought to life on the screen was multifaceted, just like the man himself. But it's my dad as the philanthropist, the humanitarian, and the giver who has earned our accolades tonight. Now, what motivated the ragman's son, a boy named Istra Danielovich, to, after spending half his life climbing to the top, spent the rest of his life wanting to give everything away? Well, it goes back to something he once said about growing up in Amsterdam, New York, and I quote, sometimes we didn't have enough to eat but very often there would be a knock at the door and it would be a hobo wanting food. And my mother always gave them something. And my mother said to me, you must take care of other people. And that stayed with me, end of quote. And he's never forgotten it. And it ties to his belief in the Jewish concept of tikkun olam, for he always wants to repair the world. And to do so, he established a foundation that over the years has given away tens of millions of dollars to the causes that he so passionately believes in. He gives to the most vulnerable in our country, sick children. It was Kirk who donated a robot to the Children's Hospital of LA that performed surgery and in tribute, they named the robot Spartacus. He gives to young people. His support has built 408 playgrounds for kids in the LA school district. He gives to those, he gives to those who want to go to college but can't afford it by providing scholarships to St. Lawrence University for minority students. He gives to homeless women. He and Ann founded the Ann Douglas Center for Women, a shelter that does so much good for so many. And of course, he gives to the cause that he is most associated with, the MPTF. Applause 
In 1992, he founded Harry's Haven, named after his father, my grandfather, and it's a specialized unit for people suffering from Alzheimer's and related forms of dementia. Then in 2012, he and Anne took a look at the wide range of services the fund provides, saw what was needed, doubled their pledge, and made another substantial donation to the MPTF. And just a little while ago, after learning that Harry's Haven was becoming overcrowded, he pledged an additional $15 million for an expansion called the Kirk Douglas Care Pavilion, a new two-floor building attached to Harry's Haven. <laughs> to date, Kirk and Ann have donated over $40 million to the MPTF. So it is for that and for so many more reasons that tonight, as we celebrate the 95th anniversary of MPTF, we also want to take a moment to say happy birthday to a man whose caring, compassion, commitment has changed the lives of so many. Kirk has often said, you haven't learned to live until you learned to give. And Dad, you sure as hell know how to give, and I know you know how to live. <laughs> I struggled uh, to think about what we could give you for your birthday, and the, uh, the best that I could come up with is something that I know would mean more to you than anything. Our continuing commitment to the incredible institution that you helped build. Dad, I'm so proud of you. Happy birthday. I love you. Thank you.